Baseball Talk with Gabriel and Chris. We would like to thank today's sponsor, Rough Makeover Dog Grooming. Thank you, thank you. Today's guest would like to welcome Coach Marcos Campos with the Texas Cannons baseball team. Welcome, Coach. How you hey, doing? Thank you, man. I'm good, man. Appreciate y'all having me on. Yeah, thanks for coming in for, for us. For sure, for sure. So we want to go ahead and ask you, uh, what made you get into coaching? Man, uh, you know, I've always found it a, a passion of mine to to kind of be, you know, in, in a way, uh, you know, not just baseball, but in general, just guiding the youth. Um, which, uh, you know, it started from the, the neighborhood that I grew up in with just, uh, you know, as, as 10, 11 years old, I, I had the little five, six year olds, you know, teaching them football, teaching them baseball, little things like that. Um, I don't know why it just felt like something that I was always, I, don't, I wouldn't say I don't want to my own horn, but say I was good at. Um, but, you know, to be honest, man, I had great, great guidance from, you know, from my little league days by the coaches that I had um, up to high school. Um, I had arguably one of the best high school coaches in Texas, um, you know, Coach Blair. Uh, he, you know, he, he, was a, he was one of those guys that was hard, um, hard on you, but, you know, man, he, he showed you love. And, you know, whenever, you, you know, he was that, like an older brother slash yeah. crazy uncle, you know what I'm saying? So he was a um, real good dude, man. You know, even to this day, man, I, you know, he's someone that I've, I've always admired, uh, someone that I can always look up to um, in the direction that he went with this, you know, the, the, the baseball in general. Um, I had a assistant coach that, uh, you know, learned a lot from, uh, with coach the And then of course, you know, uh, he was, he was that like, uh, dad, father, son type, type relationship with me. You know, we, we, we didn't, we didn't, we bumped heads a lot. Uh, and, and especially my junior year, uh, a little bit early my senior year, but man, whenever we kind of, ha- we talked it out and, you know, he was by far one of my favorite coaches ever. And then of course, you know, uh, our, first base slash pitching coach slash you know assistant uh coach towns you know he he taught me a lot too especially about the craft of first base and um but man it was just always you know like i said it's always been a passion of mine it's always been something that you know i wish i could have pursued as a career um but you know youth baseball and 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 the cannons organizations uh you know that i i love it i love doing what so, i do man so you were happy you gained a son huh i was man i was yeah um you know it's it, it, it's crazy how it happened, um, you know, with Asael because, you know, he, he, you know, from the jump, you know, Jessica had him in sports early in his age, early, you know, four, four or five years old. Um, didn't see that, you know, you know, from talking to her, it didn't seem like that was the route he was going to go. Um, he wanted to play baseball. He, you know, he saw me play softball a little bit, saw me throwing the ball and things like that. Um, and so I was like, all right. But the thing was, is that when he was playing soccer, he he didn't like to sweat. Mm. So I was like, man, you're about to play the hottest <laughs> sport of, of you know yeah. of all, you know. And so, um, but man, we you know he 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 decided to play, had fun, um, and then we ended up joining a a, a very good uh, family based team with the Cubs and um, you know Coach Pete Bergen and and uh, uh, Coach Jeff Johnston, you know that group right there. Um, and from there it took off, man, you know, and I was, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to take over the team when Coach uh, Coach Pete was coaching his oldest son. Um, and so that right there, you know, it, it gave me the opportunity to kind of guide these boys and, you know, in the direction where I see them being successful in this nice. game. Yes, sir. Now you said taking over the team. How long have you coached this team or been a part of this team? Right. Uh, so it's been, I want to say, you know, I'm thinking now we're, we're 12U. I want to say it was probably like, nine about nine you was when i i think i took over okay. um and uh you know like i said it was it was one of those situations where coach pete was kind of in a bind as far as you know his youngest son and his older son um his older son team just didn't have a team to to to, to play or to coach I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry uh but uh so he was just like hey you know him and coach jeff came up to me and was like hey you want to take over the team you know the, the boys love you you know you know what you're talking about kind of deal and so I was like, yeah, man, I'd love to, you know. And so from there, I had the team. We went from, um, you know, we we changed. We were the wrecking crew. Um, you know, we had, of course, we all we've we've had boys leave and 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 go, and you know, things things happen or whatever. But um, you know, for the most part, we've had the same core core kids, uh, same same core family that you know that that we've had from the beginning. And it's man, it's it's been fun, man. It's been a good ride. Um, and you know, it's it, it, it's it's only. Technically, only the beginning, man. I mean, 12 U is about the, the the age where boys start developing. I got some seventh graders that are looking like grown men. You start yeah. seeing muscle definition. It's it's exciting to me because it's it's something that I'm able to take advantage of now. Like, hey, all right, you're developing into your body a little bit. Hey, let's 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 take advantage of that strength and that speed and you know the yeah. size that you're getting. So okay, yeah, yeah. So where do you see your coaching goes? 
So, I mean, to be honest, man, you know, it's the same thing that, you know, that uh that I see that I saw whenever I was I was coming up right so um you know coach Blair was one of one of by far the hardest coaches to be honest he uh he 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 opened my eyes you know not just in in baseball but just in in in, in the failure of the game uh freshman year I I come up uh want of course I was a baseball player right F I played football just because everybody else played football I was a big kid you know I, I like to hit people kind of deal um, and by big I mean chunky not tall right um, <laughs> so I, I uh, you know I tried out for the team and I was for sure like all right what number am I gonna be what you know I can't wait to wear the, the green and gold and I didn't make the team so my freshman year didn't make the team uh, coach Blair said you know come on come out next season kind of deal you know the whole speech that he gives everybody else that he cuts and so I was like, all right, you know, for sure, whatever. But at that time, I was kind of like, man, is this really for me? I had to, like, s take a step back and, and, and figure out, man, what am I doing, you know? Sophomore year, I came back, and, and he offered me a spot. By far, probably one of my biggest accomplishments was to make the team. However, that, that JV team that I made was, was pretty stacked, right? And, I, of course, it was my first year on the high school team, so I, I kind of had to catch up quickly. Um, and then junior year, of course, the adversity of being the only, being one of two juniors on the JV team when all my senior friend, all my junior friends are on the on the varsity team. So it was kind of like that again was an eye opener, right? Yeah. So it kind of drove me that at that point I knew, all right, it's not just going to take me liking and enjoying the sport. Now it's going to be the hard work that I put into it. So um, you know, what I teach these boys is the same thing that I was taught. I, I'm just rolling it over, right? I'm just you know. Uh, feeding them the the concept of hard work, teaching them that nothing is ever going to be given to you just because you think you deserve it, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's based off what you put into it. Um, and so for me, it's just teaching these boys the, the you know, work hard at, at, at this if this is something you want to pursue, not just, just because you're good on this team or right. good. I mean, there's thousands of kids that are, have the same hunger, same passion you do. Now it's, it's, who who wants it more? You know what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. but For yeah, sure. man. What's what's the most difficult part of being a youth sports coach? Well, man, uh, the the hardest part for me would have to be understanding that each boy is different. Yeah. Um, knowing that you know, like for example, my catcher shows up to shows up to practice every day, and I know he, I'm gonna I'm gonna get his all that day, right? right? I might have another kid that won't that won't do that, right? He They'll roll over the day into practice. They'll roll over whatever happened at school into practice. Sure. You know, parents parents might be running late that day. It might affect them the way they prepare for practice, right? Um, so for me, it's more of just understanding and adjusting the way either I speak to them, the way I coach them. Um, you know, some days they might just be like, you know, they're messing up. They're in their head. All right, hey, hey, next, next up, next up, right? Because I don't want them to keep getting frustrated. I, I I don't want them to be at practice not wanting to be there. You know what I mean? For so sure. so it's more of just the the hardest part for me is knowing that um every boy is different. Even even with even with with my son that who, you know, you can ask anybody on that team, any parent on that team, any kid on that team, I'm by far the hardest on them, right? Only because I expect there's a certain expectation that I expect from him and especially as a head coach, right? Um so even with him, I had to adjust the way I spoke to him, the way I, I coached him. It was more, instead of being more coaching and coach and coach and coach, I had to speak to him and, 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 and adjust the tone of voice or adjust the way I, I, I went about drills and things like that. Um, but, I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's a very tricky subject because it's, every boy's different. Every, some boys are more emotional than others. Some boys get mad more than others. Um, and if you, if you push the limits, they'll, they'll, they'll say, I don't want to even want to hear it no more. And yeah. you lost them. They'll right? shut down. They'll, and yeah, you, you lose them. And so that's, that's one thing. I, I want to keep them engaged in any way possible um, without having to, um, to lose them, you know, not, not, not be focused at practice and things like that. For sure. So how would you describe your coaching style? You kind of went into it already. Yeah, but, it's it's uh, but overall. Yeah, it's uh, it's something that you know. Again, I, I, I kind of roll it over from what I was taught, right? Um, you know, it's it's more of just, um, the working hard, the being a not. I mean, I, I get it. They're youth sports, right? It's they're youth baseball players, but being a professional at what you're doing, right? Not horsing around, staying focused, because the one thing when you get into high school that you're gonna hear a lot is you got to be coachable, right? So for me, it's it's letting these boys know early what to expect, what it takes, right? Because I've been there where I've 
I didn't, I, I, you know, I failed at the highest level and I've been successful at the highest level, right? Senior year, I worked so hard, I ended up being an all district first baseman, not making the team my freshman year. So I've been there. I, we, you know, we went to, we went to the playoffs three rounds deep, lost to the number one team in the nation. So I've been at, I played the best and I've, you know, of course we we had our little stumbles and and I and I, I I failed at the highest level also so it's it's not um, it's just something that I roll over into my coaching style from what I was taught um, so it's 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 not really a drill sergeant mentality but it's more of just like letting these boys know what it's gonna take you're structured exactly you're, yeah I have game plans of yeah. how I want things to happen um, you know and it's it's uh, you know it, and 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 the biggest thing about coaching especially my team is honesty right i'm not going to tell a kid as a coach right as a coach i'm not going to tell a kid hey you had a great day at practice if they didn't have a great day at practice right because what i'm doing is i'm giving them false hope right i'm giving them the oh i, I horsed around a day and i still had a good practice right because they know they're, they're, they're kids right so they're, they know when they horse around and when they don't right when they're playing around too much and when they're not so for me it was more of just um it's more of just me being honest with the kid hey this is what you got to work on this is what you this is what where you where you you failed today a little bit on you know hey rounding the baseball doing you know making your throws you know hitting your cut hit, you know squaring up the ball you were underneath today you know you were you were on top of the ball a little bit too much today. things like that um so for me it's more of just giving them you know that sh that structure you know that that the the mentality of sure. understanding where where, where you got to go for sure what's the most difficult decision you had to make as a youth coach um, you know, honestly, it's, it's, it's transitioning team to team, right? right? Um, you know, of course we, if, if, if I had to, if, if it was the, the decisions that I made of just staying as the wrecking crew, like our original team was named, um, we could do it, right? I, I, I feel like, you know, there's plenty of resources out there for you to be able to run a, a team without an organization. Okay. The only thing is, is that with the cannons, I feel like they gave us the best foundation to build okay and 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 for example um you know we started out with the wrecking crew as a league team right um you know we had we had your son on our team and and it was just you know something that you know we kept dominating at the league level right and i knew hey, this this is never going to benefit the boys right we're winning 13 2 thir four, you know 18 1 yeah. so it's never going to benefit the boys so for me the transition into select ball was 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 one of the those decisions that I that I felt were were very difficult because we didn't succeed at first, right? We took our bumps and bruises um, and took some pretty bad beatings, but because there's been boys that have been playing select ball since they were eight, nine, ten years old, so they understood the weekend games, right? So whenever we came over to the Cannons, man, we had a facility, we have uh, structured practice schedules, we have 24/7 access to our facility, so we're able to go in and get the work done that you know. M you know, son and you know, mom. Mom wants to take son to go get some cuts in. All right, hey, set up the tee, get a bucket of balls. Dad wants to go throw BP to son. Hey, let's go to the facility. Let's let's, let's throw a round or two. Um, we got pitching mounds. We have a a, a, a small little weight uh, weight room in there. Um, man, I mean, and and to top it off, the coaches, man. We we got from the highest level of you know major league baseball to the minor leagues to college. Uh, you know experience to you know me high school level but you know i feel like my knowledge of baseball is you know is there as well but man it's just the the, the toughest decision was just transitioning from team to team right we joined right. the team last spring wasn't successful um and then we joined the cannons and man we've it's been it's been a blessing man to be honest you know jason jason woods has been super great to us from the fall from the beginning from the jump from the first phone call i made he's been you know very warming right like he's he welcoming yeah yeah, welcoming. yeah yeah so Perfect. it was uh something that i just I, I decided hey we're gonna this is something that i want to pursue um and just like any other organization any other sport there's fees to everything yeah, so sure. um but he's very i mean it's not crazy amounts of of dollars that we're having to pay right okay. and uh you know it's 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 just something that i knew that this was going to help and benefit the boys and it showed in the fall man i mean we, were, we had a pretty successful fall uh you know we, we we played in probably four three or four semifinal game uh turn in the tournaments okay. um came up short but again those those are the moments where you know I, I i don't enjoy losing at all right i'm a competitor so it just it it, it comes with the territory right? right but when it comes to those those close games that we're losing in the semifinals against really good teams it's 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 beneficial on my part because I'm learning what we need to work on, right? Oh, yeah. 
run, we, you know, we lose 2-0. Well, why did we lose 2-0, right? You go in a game and you lose 18 nothing. you don't learn anything other than, hey, the boys just didn't show up to play, right? We've had those games, too, where we, you know, get blown out the water. And it's just kind of like, let's forget about that one. Like, there's nothing that we can learn from it, right? But those 2-0 games that we, lo that we lose, like, for example, we, we played at Mavs Ballpark in the last tournament. We lost to a very good Hooks team that we beat that Saturday 18-1. I think it was, and I told the boys Sunday when we came up, when we knew we had to play them in the semifinals, I said, hey, it's not going to be the same team, I promise you. Sure enough, they threw their number one at us, right. and uh, it was a close game, man. It was 1-0 going into the fourth. They ended up scratching a little dribbler run. That runner was in scoring position. And uh, I kid you not, man, we probably had bases loaded about three times and runners in scoring position every inning, but we just could not capitalize. So for me, those are the type of, of games where I can learn and, and, and understand, all right, hey, boys, this is what we got to work on. You know, we got to be a little bit more – uh, you know, we got to fight up there a little bit harder whenever we got runners in scoring position. Hey, sure. just do a job kind of deal, right? So, um, but yeah, man, it's it's you know, back to back to the question. It's it's one of those things where, you know, I'm pretty I'm we're we're blessed to be with you know with the Canons. You know, it's 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 been it's been nothing but great so far. Okay, so this uh, Texas Cannons, how many age groups do they have? How many different teams? So they have the they have from the younger uh, age groups and. Um, I haven't really looked, you know, like any organization, you have teams that come and go, right? Mm -hmm. um, things just don't work out, and you know, they they find you know, other 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 routes they want to go. But I want to say they have, um, and don't you know, again, don't quote me, Jason, don't get mad at me, but it's a uh, it's a uh, nine U, ten U, eleven U, um, and then we have two twelve U teams, um, and. A, a couple 14 and I think a 15 U team, a 14 and two 15 U teams, or something like that. Okay. So we're we're all over the place. Where, right? we, okay. where are they based out of? They're based out of here in Carrollton. Carrollton. Um, yeah, the, the facilities in in Carrollton, uh, cl close to Addison area. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, but there's there's teams out of Frisco. There's teams, you know, th but that's that's where the facilities based out. Gotcha. Of. Um, so I mean, but like we hold practice at McKinnis, we hold practices at Frisco, depending on. I mean, not my team, but you know, they are other teams. Other yeah, teams. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so it just depends on where they're, where, where majority of them are based out of. So, but yeah, I mean, they have a range of kids and d different levels too, double A, triple A majors. And uh, the actually the other twelve U team is is is, re is really good, man. They're they're knocking on that door, of, and I and I and I'm hoping they 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 jump to that majors level because uh, they I think they 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 do very well, man. Their their pitching is there, they're hitting, they're they're very good now. Sorry to interrupt, but now y'all are double A, but looking to jump into triple A. Right, right, right. knocking on the door as well. Absolutely, man. So we're, you know, the one thing that, you know, I see in, in the difference in the double A team and the triple A team and majors level, it, it, it's a lot to do with pitching. It's man. all The consistency pitching, of pitching, right? Yeah. Um, the triple A division, you know, you start seeing guys, you know, throw strikes and, and more at, at the higher level, right? Yeah. And, you know, just it's, it's a little bit more consistent, right? Hitting is there. Um, and, but then when you go to the majors level, you got – three guys that can go yeah. any any game of you choose right for sure and then the double a division of course where we're at is more of just uh uh development right and 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 i trust me i got kids on my team that could play on on majors teams right. to, tomorrow right and uh you know we lean on them a lot um when it comes to the season because those are our leaders right um and you know it comes when it comes down to those close games those are the guys that i rely on to, to get that base hit to start off an inning to make the play kind of deal um but Every single one of my kids um, deserve to be on a baseball team, right? Um, so for me, the double A is, it's, it's, to be honest, it's just a title, right? Because when you get to high school, the, uh, unless you're on a big traveling organization team that, that goes elsewhere, goes all over the, the, the country, a high school coach is not going to ask you, hey, who right. did you play with? You know, they're not. They're not. Um, and it's, it's one of those things where, you know, they're just going to see your work ethic, the route you can go and then at that level at the high school level or you know beyond there, there's there's coaches that are good enough to 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 take over and, and and form you into becoming the baseball player that you should become right and as my goal as as a youth coach is to prepare them to understand that when the time comes uh, but um yeah man i mean it's it's um it's it's a good it's a good deal man but you know that's yeah. good man that's good well, I think that's going to be it for today, man. I sure, want to really? thank you for coming out of and course, spending your Friday night with us, man. For sure, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. It's, it's been, you know, when, when the minute you told me that I was coming on, I was excited, man. So, oh, man, yeah. yeah we're excited I'm, to I'm get glad, it rolling. I'm glad I could help you out, brother. Hey, so I appreciate it. I need it. you to talk with your parents, too, man. Let them know that uh, we'll be looking for some some athletes to interview as well to bring in here. And for sure, for sure. Yeah, going. yeah. I got some, I got some, I got some talkative 
I got a talkative group <laughs> that they're, 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 you know, they're willing to come in here and, and, and spread some knowledge. But yeah, man, those, those, those kids are amazing, man. I, uh, you know, if it wasn't for them, especially my son, man, my son just, you know, he, he, seeing his determination and where he wants to go is, is, it's a true blessing because, you know, it's, uh, it's something that, you know, I take pride in and, and I'm passionate Perfect. about. So I'm glad that he's going in that route too. All right, man. Well, thank you. All right, brother. Appreciate All right. it. Appreciate, appreciate you coming you. out. For Thanks. sure.